guys, it is vet check day. So early, it is 7 a.m. and we've already fed and we are headed to the barn. It's just after seven actually. And it is vet check day. Are you nervous? No, I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm nervous. Like, buying horses is hard. It's so hard, you guys. But hopefully by the end of this video, we'll get to introduce our new horse, if it is our new horse, or at least keep you guys updated on what is going on. So wish us luck and we'll see you guys at the barn. We were on our way here and the vet called and said he's on his way. So we're trying to hurry up as fast as we can. I'm actually shocked that we beat him here, to be honest. Look at those booty muscles. Look at them. Chino pulled a shoe already, pulled a shoe. And he's hardly been pulling shoes. I think it's because they're in a new field with a new horse and there's a lot of action going on over there. We are here. So our barn also has their vet coming today. Take a guess at how many shoes my horse has on. Yeah, yeah. So he loves his, he look, be looking gorgeous in his new halter. You like cats? <laughs> the check is done, it went really well. We are just gonna talk to Brandon about a few things before we announce our decision with this guy. We really like him, the vet check was very positive he's so young though he's five years old he has been um he raced just last year and he actually won i'm gonna try and include some footage from a couple of his races or some of his races in this video if i can get them to download because i think it's important for you guys to get to see what he was like definitely a chill horse we watched him do this entire vet check with not a single attitude like the horse is such a nice horse um there are obviously concerns because he's so young are, are you concerned because he's so young no even though he's been in a consistent program since he's been off the track still makes me worry a bit because i'm a mom and i want this to be the right decision for sophie the right horse so many of you guys have shared stories about how you've had thoroughbreds and they've been really chill and really relaxed and it's worked out and then some of you guys have shared stories where it hasn't worked out um you can't even tell he's a thoroughbred like literally he has the best personality and time and time again so we've had him for a couple of weeks now and she's ridden him so many times with a trainer without a trainer and has just been loving him and building confidence on him so uh last lesson he did have more energy at the beginning and then once we tried and cantered he was like i don't want to i'm i'm lazy now yeah like so we've seen him with energy we've seen him with less energy we've seen him with more energy and he's consistently the same horse it's only been a couple of weeks though so i just want to talk to brandon double uh double check a few things the vet check went so well i know sophie really wants to introduce you guys to him so i want to check with brandon and discuss a couple of things and then we're going to introduce you guys hopefully in this video because i know so many of you guys have been waiting i tried these on him did they fit yeah they're perfect. They fit perfect. I put perfect. them on the loose's hole, but they could probably go to the second loose's. Okay, that's awesome. So, all right, little Mr. Man that lost a shoe. <laughs> Farrier is coming in the morning. We're going to try and get his shoe back on, or we are going to get his shoe on. Look for his shoe. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. We know what you know. All right, so Sophie, introduce this beautiful new horse. So, this beautiful new horse is my baby now. He is called. Chance. Chance, and we decided after careful deliberation with all the people involved that we are going to do a short-term lease on him before we buy. So he is going to be her horse. We're going to buy him. He was drugged because we had his teeth done. Yeah. And so that's why he looks like this. <laughs> yeah, that's why he looks like that. So we are going to do a uh, <sighs> Uh, short-term lease before we buy him. We've been, like I said, we've been riding him for a few weeks, a couple of weeks. So we've basically already been doing a lease without leasing. Yeah, we've already been basically doing a lease. So we did decide on a lease for a few months to just make sure that this guy is reliably the same that he is today. Like, um, he does need a little bit of weight and he does need a little bit of muscle. We know that he's gonna change shape because he's on a round bale and he's never been on a round bale before. So that's my biggest concern. We so cute <laughs> That's my biggest concern. I just wanna make sure that he handles the food and maintains his same personality. He's amazing. Uh, some people were wondering like, how can he be so slow and still do jump? How can he be so slow and still do jumpers? He has a big stride. He's got a big stride. How do you feel about that big stride, Sophie? I don't really notice it. 
she doesn't really notice it. It's not, um, because he's slow with a big stride, it doesn't seem as scary as that. How do you feel? I don't really know how she feels. How do you feel about the striding? Uh, I don't know, but I love him. <laughs> All I know is that she has a lot of confidence on him. She's been riding him for a couple of weeks, and he has been amazing. I need to brush him in. So he is going to be her sale horse, her forever horse, if he maintains his personality while he gets the feed. Do you guys see a heart? I don't. Do you see I a see heart? A circle. Do you I guys see like a diamond? Do you guys see the heart? Do you see it? It's not a heart. Ow. If it was a heart, it'd be. It is. That is what it is. Look it. No, it's not. To me, it looks like a perfect heart. But to some people, they can't see it. Like Sophie can't see it. So, and we've had a lot of people look at it. Some people see a heart and some people don't. Some people see a bleeding heart. <laughs> Because it, it continues on down there. Oh. Yeah, and he has a little snip there. Uh, he's super tall, like we told you guys. He's 17, one. He's five, yeah. which, like I said, was so not he might, our he dream. Might grow a little bit. Um, and the the vet. He'll last forever. The vet said that he doesn't think, think that he's gonna grow anymore. I'm five. So I'm you could ride him, but I don't think you would want to get on horses tall. He does look a little bit bum high in the back and the vet said that it's just pronounced because he needs more muscle and a little bit more weight back there. I'm excited to ride them and try on my new jump boots. Like so she tried on the new jump boots and they fit perfectly. Um, so this is just like a preliminary. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of his racing history. And we watched him get his teeth done. We watched him do the whole exam, the flexions, all of it. and He's the. Just sitting there. And he just was the calmest boy. Like, he just doesn't care. Obviously, he's drugged right now. <laughs> it's been an hour he, since he was he drugged. So, calm But, yeah, he is so super calm and so super chill. And he has, seems to have such a good personality. When I rode him, I got to have a feel of what his energetic side is. Yeah, yeah. And I like that side. Yeah, so... It takes less legs. So that's what I was going to say, is that... So he's slow... He does have a big stride, and I think that's what Sophie likes about him, and I think that's what makes him work for her, is that she's so used to a fast horse, so going to a slower horse is definitely a transition, a good transition, but because he has that bit bigger stride, he feels, he feels faster to her, so she really he, enjoys he's that. Ready to go back up. All right, he's like, let's go, but we're going to leave him in the stall for a little bit longer. We're going to wait until he's walking a little bit more steady before we put him out. Step you took willingly <laughs> oh, he's such a funny boy. This barn has their vet coming, so we're gonna put him in another stall. He's Let him wear off. This is the normal hip. Well, he's still low drop. Yeah, like this is what he does though. Like honestly, this is how he turns his head all the time. He'll just stand here and like get love done. Yeah, he's like storm he's I see so much of storm in him. But he's amazing. We love him. And we will buy him, but we've all agreed on a temporary lease, which I'm so grateful that we have that option. Oh, I don't need to tie him up anyways. Just so that we can be sure. Because he is young, and I did hear a lot of your stories about um, thinking that a horse was really calm and then it changing, especially because we did increase his hay. We just went to the hairdresser. And why did you even ask if I wanted bangs? I don't know. I was just thinking, like, I hate bangs again in my face. I know, but I was thinking it would be cute if you had a different style. Show them your hair. Sophie got her hair cut and thinned. And thinned, which was a big thing. Did, oh wow. It's still thick, but not as thick. Yeah, because she didn't have the stuff, because, um, yeah, it was that a house. So, how do you like it? Does it feel lighter? Yeah. We got her hair done too, and she literally just got the slightest trim ever. Let's see, at the front. Yeah, like I can, whoops, I can see, I can notice a difference, but yeah, she got like a super slight trim and she did not get thinned <coughs> because she already has this thin hair. This part did not get trimmed. This part? Yeah, like, that front piece there. Gabby's hair grows so slow. If I put it up and take out the front pieces. Yeah. Can, when you put she it up. cut those. Yeah, she didn't cut those They're pieces. Too short. Did when you put it up, do does it still feel the same? Like, do you notice? Like, she took such a small amount off. No, I don't notice. Don't notice? Oh, that's perfect. All right, so our hairdresser is just a short distance away from the barn. Uh, so we left Chance in the stall with Brandon, 
uh, because their vet is there doing their vet stuff, um, the barn's vet stuff. So we're headed back to the barn to put him back in his stall. Oh, Rena be looking cute. The barn has all this nice stuff to sell. Wow, I love it. Is this your stuff too? Uh, a little bit of whatever has been left from the previous kids that new stuff. That's my favorite jacket. I think that's the brand that Gabby has. I'm not sure. It's so nice though. Like I love it. Too small for us. It's a little tiny kid's jacket. But so super cute. <laughs> Gloves. Breeches. Show shirts. You don't need anything. You have it all. Yeah, we don't need anything. We have and it all. stuff won't even fit us. Yeah. Alright, so we are going to get gray thin because Chino lost a shoe. And so Gabby can have a lesson. It's actually super gorgeous outside today. It's like 11 degrees Celsius. 11 Celsius. Chino's hair is so long now. And he's so like big that it's like he doesn't even look like himself. You are literally the cutest little boy. I put these jackets on you. <laughs> he likes to smell everything before I put it on. So, uh, Sophie, how did the vet check go? Good. It went really, really well. And he's so handsome. He, did he pass? Yes. He passed. So do you want to introduce him now? This is Chance. And his, he's very cute in his blue halter. He's very cute in his blue halter. And what is his show name? Lead director. Lead director. Yeah, and he I want to was. Change it to take a chance. Yeah, we're gonna change it to take a chance. And this is him. I have a itchy head. And he is adorable. I don't and, have anything for him because I had a pony. And we no. negotiated a six month lease. So that we could see how it turns out. Because even though this guy's really calm and really quiet and amazing, we don't know for sure how the change in his food, because we're um, he's on a, a round bale now and he was never on that before. And we even talked about it with our vet. Like my biggest worry and concern with this horse is literally only the fact that he was a racehorse and even though she's been able to ride him for the last couple of weeks and he's been consistently the same, I want to just make sure that that stays the same. So we've negotiated a lease with his owner for the next six weeks and then he'll become our six months. Right? Are you excited? Yeah. All right. We don't want to increase the, the possibility of him getting more hot, but we also want him to have everything he needs to be the weight that is optimum for him. I need to go get him on. Yeah. Those are yours? Yeah. Holy yeah, mine, moly. Mine are clean. We should wash those. <laughs> I like mine because they don't have Velcro. Well, so you, Velcro would never get sticky. Your, yeah, but yours are about to get dirty. Dirty. Yeah. But we are, bring them home today, <laughs> so we are going outside. So this guy is a massive cuddle bug. He is he so loving. He in your lap. <laughs> Yeah. You have an case. Yeah, so he's been in the stall for a little while. He has a couple cuts on his face from when we put him with Chino and Finn. They did not like him. They were mean to him because he didn't fight back. We're excited. We're excited to see what happens this show season and how this journey goes. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 